guys, it is Carl Brown, guitarlessons365.com. Got a really fun one for you today. We're gonna have an in-depth look at Rats by Ghost. So uh, we are tuned down to D standard here like they do um, on this recording. Um, so that means every string on your guitar is tuned down a whole step, not just drop D, it's full D all the way across. So that means it's gonna be a D, then a G, then a C, then an F, an A, and then a D. So those notes will be in the description as well, so I know I flew through them. So you have to get in that tuning there, and then we'll be ready to rock here. We're gonna start with this main riff. Now, like to, they do a lot of uh, multi-guitar parts there, so uh, where the guys will just be kind of playing different voicings of the same chords uh, at the ends, and then they'll have these harmony parts. We're gonna cover all that just kind of in the order that it goes in the, in the track. We're gonna take a look at the solos and everything. So here we go, we got a lot lot to cover here. So this main rip that I just played. All right, so you'll see them play this a couple different ways live too, so I'll show you kind of some ways that they can just vary it a little bit. So we're gonna start with just this power chord, the seventh fret of the A and the ninth fret of the D. And then four hit, four, it's like an alternate pick to all palm muted notes on the low E string. And then just move the note on the ninth fret up to the tenth. So this. Then if you hold that a little bit, more down up, down up on the low E. And then we're gonna go up to the tenth fret power chord off the A string. More kind of the sixteenth note, uh, one group there of four on the low E down to the A power chord here at the fifth fret of the low E string. So we have this. And then back to that little down up, down up, and that starts the riff kind of start over again. Except the second time, you're just gonna go to this G, instead of doing, you're just gonna go to this G power chord, and then the D power chord down. That's kind of the open versions of the chords. So it's, a, it's like a G major without the fifth string there, so just mute the fifth string. And then just the open D, second fret on the G, and third fret on the B. So just those three strings. So all together. Now, so both of them, you'll also see them do it right here. So that's kind of just doing the power chord. Instead of the seventh fret there on the A, the second fret of the D string. But then move up to the fifth fret there. And then over to the seventh fret there just on the A and the D string. So um, the other one to kind of do some stuff like that. So that just kind of goes along with us. Um, but you'll also hear this go over at the ends, like this. So um, that's when they go to this, when you get the G to D, you do the, the G power chord and slide down to the D. So you'll hear that. So you might want to have one guitarist just do that and then the other one do the that G to D, to, so that's probably closer to what they would do. All right, so remember that ending, by the way, with those two different parts together. So then we get to the verse, which is just this. So it's just that repeated, and once again, that little G to D ending. There's another guitar that goes to this. With that. So what's the rhythm, though, there? So it starts with a hit, just one downstroke, and then a down up. So we have, and then we do a group of four. So we go one, then one, two, three, four, and then one. So just accent those ones. And they're also held a little bit longer. And then we have two groups of the 16th notes. So we have this. So 
So after you repeat it, then you just end it with that G to D. And remember, it's got those two different endings. One doing this, and then one. All right, from there we get to the pre-chorus, which sounds like this. So that's, there's a harmony line at the very end of it, so there's going to be two parts we're going to learn there. So we just start with the B power chord first, off the second fret of the A string. Then up to the seventh fret, then three, and then the open A. So, so far we have two, seven, three, and then when you get to the A, Hit the chord and then go to just the single notes on the A string. And then we're going to go up to the fifth fret. You can also do it with the open D there. So you can play the D here. Probably one guitarist can do the, the D like that, the other one do the open D. You'll see them do that live. Like, just have the open D, or you can just go up to the power chord. The, uh, then to the G power chord, one can play it that way, and one can do it that way. And then to the third fret power chord, the A. So let's go through that one more time. Seven, two, A, D, G, then. Once you get to that A, you're going to do that harmony line that comes in there. Now, the um, top harmony line sounds like this. So that's the 16th fret on the G over to 16 on the D. And then slide into the ninth, I mean, sorry, the uh, 17th fret on the B down to 16. So it is. And then. Uh, the 19th fret there on the high E twice. So that's the top harmony line. The bottom one does this. So that's 9, 8 on the G string. Then 12, 11 on the G. And then play third, I mean 16 to 17 on the B. All right, so from there we get back to the, uh, the the main riff kicks in. And then you're gonna hear a fill come in there real quick. It looks, looks like this. All right, so that fill, it's better to break it up into like kind of two patterns that you can do. So you kind of slide into the first one here, this first note, up to the 12th fret. You're gonna hammer, 12 to 13, pull back off to 12. Over to 14 on the G. Back to 12 on the B. And back to 14 on the G. So that's the first pattern. So just get that down first. And then the second pattern looks like this. So that's going to be hammer, kind of the same look again, except now hammer the 14, 12 to 14 on the G, pull back off to uh, 12, and pull, uh, uh, slide down to 11. And then end it with a pull off from 12 to 11, over to 14 on the D. So first loop, second. So it might be kind of a confusing lick, but if you break it up like that, it's a little bit easier. 
and then just put them together. So that comes out of... When a G and a D happen, that's where There's a little fill there. All right, so then we get back to uh, the verse. Same verse as before, same pre-chorus, and then we get to finally the first uh, real chorus, uh, which sounds like this. All right, so that is gonna start with the zero, two, three on the low E string. And then obviously it's, it's a D string now, I know, but then up to the, we're gonna play this chord, which is an inverted C major chord, if you really wanted to know. So it's the seventh fret on the A string. It's first inversion C, and then we're gonna have the fifth fret on the D, fifth fret on the G. And then you get hit again, and then the open strings, so we have this. Then to that G power chord, I mean, open G power chord, and then you can mix it up. You can play, or you have two guitar players, one throws and grabs that, like the D major chord, D power chord here. Oh, we this. And maybe the other one can play the open D. Either way, you do that three times. And then the fourth time, they play this. So that's um, seven, nine, ten on the A string to the eighth fret power chord of the low E. So just the eighth fret of the low E, tenth on the uh, A string. And then the melody is a little bit different. Right here it goes 10, 12 on the A to 12 on the D. And then you play that power chord to the tenth fret. So we have this. That's the end of the chorus there. So that first riff three times and now. Then it goes straight back to the pre chorus here. Uh, and the, the pre chorus ends with that same harmony section, but then that harmony section leads into the interlude. So uh, the interlude is, uh, starts at the 2 minute and 11 second mark, and it sounds like this. I'll play the uh, top harmony part first. Which leads into the solo. So let's do that one first. We're going to start at the 12th fret on the B string over to 9 on the G. That's a great part of the song, by the way. I really like this part. And then we go to 12, 15. It's a little pattern that they're just kind of sequencing down the scale. So we have the 12, 15, then 10, 12, and then 8, 12. And then you can play 7 and pull, slide down to 5. So we have this. And then you're going to slide into the 12th fret. Same string, and then play 10 twice. So we have this. All right, so after you got there, you start back over with this. That 12, 12, 15, 12, 10, 12, 8, 10. And when you get to the seven this time, you're gonna still slide down to five. Hold that five, then take it down to three. So this. Yes. 
so that replaces this. Okay, so we have that. Then we have a little bit different notes up top when we're doing this pattern. So that now the notes up top are 13, 15, 12, 13. Oh, sorry, it's 13, 15, 12, 13, 10, 12, 8, 10, and then 7, 5, 5. So we have this. You're going to end it here going 8 to 7 twice, and then 13 to 12 twice, meaning 12 hit twice. So let me do that top harmony section real slow. Now the bottom harmony section sounds like this. All right, so that interlude, by the way, at the very end of it. He has an A power chord and a B power chord twice, but other than that, there's no guitar except the kind of comes in on those lasso. I'll have that. So uh, anyway, those those notes here, nine on the G string. I'm sorry, twelve on the G string, then nine on the D. You hit that D string twice, and then the melody. Once again, we're doing the same thing. We're gonna play nine eleven. 7, 9, 4, 7, all in the G string. Then play 4, slide down to 2. Look at this. Then you're going to slide into the 9 and play 7 twice. So then we start the same melody again. Except now this time, we're going to play, instead of going, here we go. Five, four, four. And then the melody gets a little different here as well, the third time through, like on the top one. So that's going to be 9 11 again, 7 9, and then 5 7 instead of 4 7. Back to 5. Then we're gonna play five, four, 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 two, two, and then end it with nine, eight, eight. So real slow for the lower harmony parts, just so you can kind of play along. So, if you have a second guitar player, you guys can play those together, and it sounds really cool, by the way. All right, so now we have the guitar solo. Before I play the solo for you, it's just the rhythm to the chorus that it goes on underneath this. So, there's nothing new to learn there. All right, so let me just uh, play through this guitar solo for you real quick, and we'll take a look at it phrase by phrase.
All right, there's a harmony line at the very end of that solo too, so I won't forget that when we get there. So let's start here with this first phrase of the solo. So we're gonna start with a hammer on from three to five on the B string. And then you can pick five a couple more times. Then you can pull off three to zero. And then back to the five. And then you can hit a couple times. So hit this. Go with this. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna, gonna hammer three to five again and then pull off three to zero. So here we go. All right, and when you pull off, you're gonna be able to now jump up here to the fifth position and play this. That's playing eight three times on the B string. Then pull off seven to five on the B. Then over to seven on the G string. So the whole phrase. All right, and then we have this next phrase. All right, so that's gonna start with a hammer on uh, from 14 to 17 on the A string. And then you're gonna play 14 on the D and back to 17 on the A. Now while you're playing this, make sure there's some nice palm muting there. And then we're gonna really kind of start this picking pattern. So we're gonna start it here at the 14th fret on the um, D string and go 14, 16, 17, back to 14. So we have this. So remember that first lick, and then the second. And then we're gonna keep going up the scale, the same pattern. So it's gonna be 16, 17 on the D string, 14 on the G, back to 16 on the D. So, and then we're gonna end this with this last pattern. We're gonna play 17 on the D, and then 14, 16, 14 on the G. So we have this. Then go back to the 16. And live, he seems to come, slides up to 19, pull back off, to, I mean, slide back down to 16, and then pull off to 14. And then we have this next phrase. All right, so this one starts kind of like a blues like. So it's gonna be a bend there at the, kind of a half bend at the 14th fret of the G string. Over to 12 on the high E, then play 15, 12 on the B. And then jump up here to the 17th fret there on the, on the, uh, you're gonna do a little E minor arpeggio here. The 17th fret on the B, 16 on the G, and, 17 on the D. Down to 16 on the D, 14, and then go back up. 16, 17 on the D, over to that 14 on the G. So we have this all together. Then what you're gonna do is while you're holding that note, you're gonna tap the 19th fret on the G string, and as you're tapping, replace that finger that was holding the, the 14th fret, replace it with your, uh, from the first finger to the third finger, or the index to the ring finger. So it is. And then you're ready in position, pull back off that 14, pull off to 12, and slide down to 11. So it is. And when you get to that 11, kind of immediately kind of bend it back up a half step. So. It's, And then you just do, you're gonna play 12 on the G, 12 on the B, 12 back on the G. So um, 
So anyway, so, fr so from there, we just had this last one. Which is this 19th fret there on the G string. Then 17 on the B, 19 on the B, 20, and slide into 22. Now underneath that, that's when the harmony part, this last few notes are harmonized. That's going to be, the harmony part is going to be 16 on the D string, then it go 12, 14, 16 on the G, slide into the 19th row. All right, and then we go back to the main riff from there out of the solo. And, and then you're going to hear a little, which is just sliding into the 12th fret, hammer on 14, tap that 19 again, and then pull off to 14. It sounds like when he does, pulls back to the 14, you can actually, you can also hear multiple strings in there, like maybe from the vibrato, he's kind of ringing multiple strings on that uh, 14th fret across the G and the B. All right, so from there we go back to the pre-chorus. All right, but the pre-chorus this time through has a little, instead of that regular harmony part, it's kind of extended, and it sounds like this. So it's a little bit longer. It starts the same, 9-8, this is the low harmony part here. 9-8 on the G, 12-11. And then we're gonna go 14-16. Still on the G string, and then go 17, 16. And then 17, 16 on the B. And reverse that, 16, 17, T. So it is. All right, and the top melody line starts the same. All right, so that starts the same as the first time we did it. 16 on the G to 16 on the D. Then slide to 17 on the B, down to 16. But from here, we'll go a little bit different. We're going to go 17, 19 on the B. This. But then slide up to 20, down to 19. And then 20, 19 on the high E. Kind of hold that and play that again. And then we're back to the same chord. That the chorus right there towards the end of the song is twice as long as the other choruses in the song. Um, and then we get to the outro section, which starts with a keyboard playing a kind of a riff. And the, car, the guitar comes in and does it as a single note riff real quick. It sounds like this. <laughs> Very unique sounding, really cool riff. Actually, it's just just you don't see a lot of riffs like that on the guitar, so it's pretty creative. So let's start here uh, with this. Comp so the keyboardist does it by itself, then you can hear the guitar come in, and it sounds like this. So the first four are just zero, three, zero on the low E, over to two on the A string. All right, and then we're gonna go zero, three, two. Seven on the high, on the A string. The next four notes are going to be six low E open and then two low E open. So so far, I'm sorry. Pretty odd. And then three on the A string. The next four notes, the last four notes. Then open E, and then one on the A and one on the low E. It's a very creepy sounding riff. And then we get to the repeat. So you're gonna do it twice, so all together.
All right, and then we do pretty much a power chord version of that with certain ones of the power chords accented. So it sounds like this. All right, so you're basically gonna do that riff like four times. So really heavily palm muted, except for those ones that are accented. So low E open. So it's kind of the same notes. We're gonna follow those as the root notes of each power chord. Open E, and then fit the third fret power chord, and then the open E again. And then when we get to the second fret there on the A string, it's power chord, that's gonna be our first accented chord. And then we have that zero, open low E again, and then three, two, power chord on that low E. And then we're gonna jump up and grab the seventh fret and sixth fret power chords off the A string, and those will be accent for this. And then we have the open low E again the power chord off the second fret of the A string, really heavily palm muted, then back to low E. And then when you get to the third fret power chord, that's gonna be accented as well. And then we end it with the low E open and then the first fret power chord off the A and the D. So it's just like it's following the same riff that we did before, it's just playing a power chord for each one of those notes. So we have this all together. So we can just repeat that four times. So if you could just memorize the single note version of that pattern, it makes that riff a lot easier. Um, and then you get to kind of memorize where to put those accents in. All right, so I know there is a lot going on with this song. <laughs> a lot of guitar parts. There always is with ghost songs, like a lot of harmony guitar parts um, and some crazy solos. But hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you made it to the end of it. And I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.